We continue on uh, section 20.4. Last time we looked at two examples, 20.4.1 and 20.4.2. And in 20.4.2, there's an integral that uh, uh, that is a little difficult and your textbook use a method that is um, not familiar with us, but there's uh, another way to do that integral which uh, more elementary using complex complex uh, contour integral and so that can be served as a that kind of like an example for the complex con, uh, complex variable chapter so now the integral is a volume integral in three dimensions so it's uh, e to the i k dot r divided by k squared plus zeta squared, so zeta is a constant to the fourth power and integrate over the volume k. Okay, so now so that is uh, the integral. And when you look at the form of the, the integram, you see that this is a quite well behaved. It's not singular anywhere, including infinity in K. So, um, so the value is well defined. And now the, the easiest way to do that, to do the integral is in spherical coordinate, but then now uh, we choose uh, Z, choose Z along the direction of R so that uh, k dot r is just the magnitude k times r times, times the cosine of the spherical angle. Okay, so now, now so this integral is in, in equals to, so you integrate over the whole uh, volume. So d phi is, uh, the integral doesn't depend on phi, so integrate over phi give you two pi and then um, the radio is just k so you have k square dk and k integral from zero to infinity and the k square plus zeta square factor only depends on k so write the, this factor out in front because uh, we do the phase integration first. Phase is sine phase d phase from zero to pi, and the exponential factor now depends on e to the i k r cosine theta. Okay, and the usual way to do that is define so you define a new variable a to equals cosine theta. So that uh, this is the flat integral becomes just integrating an exponential function. So this becomes two pi zero to infinity k square t k k square plus theta square fourth and t a there is uh, minus sine theta d theta, but can uh, you can use that the minus sign the fifth uh, limit so that become integrating from minus one to one and this is exponential function i k r eta so that the eta integration is elementary so you basically pull out uh, divided by the i k r factor okay so that equals the divided by i k r the i the factor can be uh, incorporated in, in the in front so two pi or you just let it divide by that i r and one of the k will cancel this k so you can just k d k k square plus zeta square to the fourth power and becomes e to the i k r a that you value one and minus one so you have e to the 
I K O minus E to the minus I K O. Okay, so that is uh, that is it. So then uh, so you have two terms, and then uh, there's the the integral depends on the fourth power, and they are they are poles in the the value k equals to plus or minus i zeta, but there's a fourth power, and there's a, another k factor in the numerator, and so this is uh, so the, the pole will be a, a, a fourth order pole, so. The, you can calculate the res, uh, residue of that, but that would be a, uh, more complicated. And one way to simplify that is do a, a integration by parts first. So because you have uh, k over this one, so you they suggest that to put that into a, a integration by part first form first. So this is equals to two pi over i r. Zero to infinity. And actually before we do the integration by part, we can look at the, uh, we can look at the, the uh, form of the integram. So there's a k here. So, and then this function is, just basically two i sine k r, which is an odd function multiplied by k becomes an even function. So the whole integram is an even function. So instead of integrating from zero to infinity, we can integrate from minus infinity to infinity and divided by two. So this means that I can get rid of the two factor here and then uh, integrate from my from minus infinity to infinity minus okay and now that would be uh, useful for doing quantum integral and this factor now will do a make it a integral at, at the rate of the decay of one over k square plus zeta square cubic factor, but I need, will need to divide it by uh, minus one over six, because uh, when you take a derivative, you get minus three, and then your k square give you two k, right? So you cancel the six factor and minus sign will give you k divided by k squared plus zeta squared to the fourth power. Okay, and then uh, copy that, the other one. Okay, now this one, you can now do the integration by parts. So, and when you do the integration by part, the boundary term, or have this one over k squared plus zeta squared cubic power and evaluate as infinity minus infinity or infinity will make the boundary term zero. So you, you have no boundary term. Okay, so you only have the, uh, so the other term that is, uh, so you pull out this minus one six, but the other term is minus. So you have one six, so it's basically pi over 6i r now integrate i forgot dk okay and then now it's uh becomes dk over k square put say the square cubic power and i take the derivative of that one so both will uh, take a derivative with, with i out, out, but this one, this term is a negative sign, so it becomes a plus sign. So you have pull out the i, capital R, and 
that becomes e to the i k r plus e to the minus i k r. Okay. And this k r factor and that k r factor cancel. All right. So we need to keep that many factor. All right. And now this integral, um, because of um, the, the pole, so let me, let, let's just uh, write it down by, with the simplification. So you have pi, get which of the i r, so and you have e to the i k r plus e to the minus i k r dk. And let's write down the pole all explicitly a mi k minus i zeta q k plus i zeta q. Okay. And now because uh, of the integram and then the exponential function, you know that you can close the contour at infinity, but uh, it depends on whether it's the first term and the second term because this capital R is assumed to be positive. So this R is coming from this uh, vector R. So it's basically the magnitude of so R, capital R is positive. So this is in the case complex plane. So that the two pole is I say the and minus I Z. So the integration is along the wheel Z, wheel K axis. So you want to, so if it is uh, the first term, you want to close it uh, on the upper uh, semi infinite uh, semi circle. So this is for the first term. The second term, you, you uh, do the other one. So this is the second term. Okay. And so you get uh, two terms out. Okay. And so let's, so for the first term, you get uh, the contribution from the pole i zeta, so you multiply by k minus i zeta cube, cube and then do the um, second derivative and divided by three factorial. Okay, so actually two factorial because you are doing this two factorial if you have two, so, all right, so, um, that will give you um, uh, da, da, da. this will give you a two seems like I'm missing a factor. Hmm. No, that, I'm fine. So this is actually so the you multiply by two pi r for the first one. You multiply by two pi two pi i because you're going the counterclockwise. So you multiply two pi i two pi square i for six, right? And then you do one half of the second derivative squared dk square of this factor e to the i k o. Divided by k plus i zeta cubic. All right, and evaluate k equals to i zeta. Okay, so uh, 
and then for the other one is this one so you go the other side so you have subtract there so minus one half d squared d k squared e to the minus i k r divided by k minus i zeta cube and evaluated k equals to minus i zeta okay so uh, what you have is uh, so this one and that one actually basically uh, just complex conjugate of each other so basically subtract complex conjugate from this term but then if we give, give you imaginary part but but again you have this uh, i so we can give you the actually you multiply i inside you give you the wheel part so you can uh, two of the wheel part so we can cancel this two so this will be equals to pi square over three wheel part of so taking the this one just the first term the first second term you just basically the wheel part of that so and so you do you have the i here and this you can first do one integration so it becomes ddk okay and then now uh, integrate over this factor so the, you can the first uh, take the integration over the exponential function will give you i times all divided by k plus i zeta okay and q per power and the other is taking the derivative over this factor so it comes minus three k plus i zeta to the fourth power but both of them multiply by e i k r okay so that um, that that is it and but then uh, this is evaluate uh, k equals to i zeta okay so now you have one more integration to do so we have pi square of a three wheel part of i times uh, again you have a uh, two factor one is this script uh, bracket factor and then this exponential factor so the first factor will be uh, i another i o times this factor i o divided by k plus i z to q minus three k plus i z to fourth okay the other is taking this uh, this with one more uh, derivative so that uh, give you minus three i r but k plus i z to the fourth so basically this one and that one is the of the same form so you have two of them actually and then press uh, 12 of them 12 k plus i z to the fifth power and e to the i k r evaluate k equals i z okay so now we can do substitution so um, equals to so pi and substitute when you do a substitution the exponential factor k equals i zeta substitute into here so i times i is negative so you have e to the minus r zeta r e to the minus zeta r but this is a real factor so you can pull the real factor out so you have pi square e to the minus zeta r okay and then uh, 
divided by three. Right, so now the rest, so you have I times I times I become minus I. The first factor is minus I R square divided by K equal I zeta. So you have two I zeta cubic power. So that's the first term. And the second and the third term are the same. So you have two of them. So you have a minus. Again, your I times I is minus one. So cancel the negative sign become plus six O. And then two I zeta to the fourth power. So that's that taking of the second and third, and then the last term is uh, plus um, twelve times i, the i, right? Twelve i. And then two I say that the fifth power okay now uh, continue to simplify that so you can pull out the common factor so you have two to the third power at least and then zeta to the third power at least in the denominator. So you pull out eight zeta cube. So that you have pi square e to the minus zeta r. Eight times three is 24 zeta cube. All right. And now for this one, you have a i i to the cubic power is minus i, so cancel with the minus i. Uh, so what you get is uh, uh, what you get is just r square because the other factor out is so r square. And the other two is uh, you have uh, 6r over i to the four power is just one, so plus uh, six, but then you have divided by two to is three, three r over eta, over zeta, three r over zeta, and then this one 12, and then divided by four, and then you have a, uh, this is i and divide by i fifth, you get still one, so it's uh, three divided by say the say the square. Okay, so now we will we want to pull the all the other z out. Pi square e to the minus z out twenty-four z the q fifth. That give you zeta square r square plus three zeta r plus three. Okay, so that would be the required result that uh, uh, substitute back to the uh, example and we'll get the final result. Okay, so that's uh, how you evaluate this integral.